Hey guys, how's it going? I am here for a Nintendo game, which I've done a lot of, but as of recently I've only been doing Fallout because it was easier for me to record that. But uh, with this, I'm hoping to be able to do more not Fallout stuff. So anyways, let's get this intro going. In the land of Hyrule, something about a legend. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. Basically, the setup for this game is that Link actually liked Navi. He part. uh, yeah. As you heard from that. It becomes more obvious if you uh, read the manga, or the comic if you will, whatever you want to call it. This is actually my favorite Zelda game, I like it more than Ocarina of Time. I don't know what it is, something I just like it more. Not, not to say that Ocarina of Time is bad, still better than most other games I've played. I wish I had more to say, but this is the intro. There's not a whole lot going on right now. So I'm just gonna keep quiet till I get to the gameplay part. Alright, we're into the actual gameplay part. You got the sword, with the A is to grab, and, A is the action grab button. You got your horizontal slash, vertical slash, stab, and spin attack. Also, you got two more. You got jump attack and power stab. The power stab is more of a glitch to move than anything. These things we're collecting are called rupees if you didn't know that. Maybe we should just, just get to playing. 
Anyways, uh, this is my favorite game for a number of reasons. It seems to be more polished. I actually like those side quest things. And look at the way he jumps. That shows badassery right there. But uh, a lot of what I just said is down loot. And you'll see why in a little bit. As we fall down this hole. This hole filled with hallucinations, it seems, of clocks. Uh, let's look at like Goron, Zora. We'll be accounting those later. I saw the oc Ocarina, which that damn Skull Kid has. And this guy's got spotlights. Nice job, Skull Kid. It's that stupid horse of yours. It doesn't listen to a word I said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, oh, boo-hoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you beat me at, can beat me as I am now? Fool. I'm reading this because no one else can read. I'm the only one in the world. It's a burden that I have, it's a burden that I must bear. If I ever forget to read something, that's too bad. My eye itches. This looks like a time for some secret butt fun. What? Uh, what's going through your mind when you're being chased by a bunch of evil, evil shrubs? I guess, you know what, anyone who's played Minecraft should know that. We are now made of wood. Hardwood. Hee <laughs> hee, now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking like that way forever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Even though I'm reading it. Oh, come on. You get stopped by a little fairy? Sis. He said it with that much emotion. You wouldn't know that. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here! Tell you, you can't leave without me! Yeah, that'll work. That'll totally work. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, there was no really need for you to deal with me. I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just stand there, Deku boy, do something! Some people say Deku, I, some people say Deku, I don't really care. Why are you looking at me? Is there something stuck in my face? If you stop staring, just open that door. Please, come on and help this little girl who's asking you. So hurry up! She's more of a bitch than anything. Uh, now we can spin. These uh, moving bushes will be more important later, but we can't do much about them at the moment. Press A to open doors. Press A to do a lot of the stuff. Also, pressing A makes you move faster. Wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um, that's stuff back there. I apologize, so take me with you. Yeah, yeah, I totally will. It's not like I have a choice anyways. You wanna know that skull kid who just ran off anyway? What? Right? Well, I just have to not have an idea where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Really? Where else am I going to go? I mean, I've got the dead end behind me. And then, what's in front of me? Yeah, if you can't read this, that's too bad. And he just broke the fourth wall. You don't break the fourth wall, Link. Only Snake breaks the fourth wall. Snake and Psycho Mantis. Oh yeah, that was a context-sensitive context sensitive area. The uh, the A button will change its uh, the A button will change its use depending on where you are and what's your what environment you're in. As this, when it's, when you're over these flowers and you're a Deku shrub, you'll go into the flower and become a temporary helicopter. And in here, we have our first item, Deku Nuts. A lot, uh, kind of useful, that depends on how you play the game. I don't really much care for them. I, I do enjoy, uh, there's so, there are some times when I find them useful. Like sometimes I'll use them, so, a lot of times I won't. 
This is the introduction of Z-targeting, which is L because I'm using the GameCube controller. See, there you go. When I fly over to people or objects, press Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z-targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. If there's no one to target, you can just Z to press go straight ahead. Okay, let's check out this tree. Got this tree. That is a really sad looking tree. Strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. I agree with you, game. Oh yeah, another reason why I like this game. It has a very dark atmosphere and and an, uh, and, and a feeling of foreboding and ominousness that really works consider, considering what's going on. And we're inside what seems to be some sort of mechanical mechanism. But for what? What could possibly be mechanical? Let's go. You met with the terrible fate, haven't you? I hate this guy. He creeps me out. Look at that smile. You can't trust that smile. Yes. What's her face is right to be scared. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. I see you have a Mario mask. You can see it right, right in front of the word woods. Anyways, during my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So it's your fault. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you as if you weren't creepy enough already. For I know a way to return you to your former self. Well, ain't that dandy? If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you get my precious map that the insult for me. I, I, you know what, I could totally do that. What, it is not a simple task? Why does someone like you should be no means a difficult task? Did I say that right? Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I'd be to bring it back before my time here is up. Yes, yeah, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well, then, I am counting on you. So, uh, let me get this straight. You want me to find this very important mask. Very, very important, but you're only giving me three days, and you're not even going to tell me what happens if I don't get it within the three days. And it's the dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. And it turns out we were in a clock. And there's a glowing light behind that thing that's being built. That's what's her face. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the. Sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that leaves us with measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Little fun fact: there used to be, used to be seven days, but due to uh, various limitations, the cancel of the 64 disk drive, and uh, other like time limitations and stuff like that. There was only three days. Personally, I would have enjoyed having seven days, but I'm not going to complain with what we have. If you go over here, you're going to get interrupted. Wait! Wait! Hang on! That guy's got skinny ass legs. I don't even know if he can stand. He's got a fez. This is my private property. Don't try to use it when I'm not around. Fine, be like- Oh, shit! Also, that dog will attack you. That, do that dog's a douche. He'll try to attack you when you're like this. As if you'll ever not be like this. I'm sorry, but you're stuck this way the entire game. Please hear my plea, the masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Oh god, I'm running out of breath. I've never, I've never talked so much in my life. And I've got like 80-something videos on my channel. I think I'm 90. I need to get used to this. Uh, just stand here, and I'll get attacked by a dog. Wait, wait, almost there. There, yeah, you get attacked. And then he runs away, like an asshole. You can't do anything with this yet. Ye who hold the sacred sword leave proof of our encounter. We can't do anything with that right now, but they are rather important and, like, very vital to beating the game. Like, beyond vital. And they, it, I don't know if it's even possible to beat the game without that, those statues. Now let's talk to this asshole. 
What's this green clothes white fairy, sir? Could you by chance be a forest fairy? No, I am not. But you're certainly a fairy if you know what I'm talking about. My name is Tingle, and I think I'm the same as you, a forest fairy. Alas, although I am already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy on my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. I don't want to be friends with you. You're 35 years old and very creepy and you wear ties to index. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map as a sign of our friendship. I'll buy your maps only because it's a map. Yippee! I don't really need the map. Oh, uh, details about the run. I'm only gonna... The, uh, the only thing I can guarantee is that I'll get all the masks. And beat the game. That's all I'm guaranteeing. I'm not gonna get all the, like, play all the mini games or do all that other stuff. The only thing I'm guaranteeing is that I'm gonna get all the masks. What are masks? Well, either you already know, or have never played this game before, in which case, what the hell have you been doing? But, uh, masks are very important. They are. Head over to the fairy fountain over here. Oh no, the great fairy! Well, look, good thing we already got you. If you don't come here, they'll tell you to find it anyways. And this... That, I'll never get used to that scream. And I thought this game was supposed to be rated E for everyone. Or is it E10? I'm not sure. Daddle and you, the young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. This is what I love about the 3D Zelda games. They have magic power. Except for the la latest two, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. They, they left out the magic power, which is why... I th they could have been, been better, in my opinion, with magic power. Twilight Princess is my le least favorite 3D Zelda game. My hat's going through the ground. You've been granted magic power in your current firm. Press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. We can now blow bubbles. Isn't that awesome? The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, young, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me and I shall give you more help. God damn, I, I can't believe I decided to read all this. If you haven't noticed, there's a clock in this game. Because it's kind of important to keep track of the time. Uh, now, before I head back to the main story, I'm going to head over here. Uh, something in this game is... Uh, that, that was in this game and no other Zelda game, is mini games that you have to play more than one time to get the maximum reward. I'll show you what I mean starting with this one. It's the only one we can do here. How about it? Will the young one play? One game is 10 rupees. Alright then, use a steeple flower and have fun. All basically what we gotta do is get onto all the platforms. The time it takes you to get all the rupees, the faster, blah blah blah. All you gotta do is get all the rupees in the time. With this 1 minute and 15 seconds. Time starts when you get into the flower or when you leave the flower? When you leave the flower. Now these ones are going up and down, so it's uh, easier than the other two days. You come back here on separate days and you get a better prize every time. You'll always get your money back if you get all the coin if you get all the rupees. But then the prize will increase that. So, that's nice. I try to get the blue one as soon as possible in case I screw up. But I may screw up in trying to get the blue one. No wait, I got this. Okay, moving on, we go around this way. We got two more left. Oh god! I just fell off getting the blue one. God damn it! Too bad! Son of a bitch! This is gonna- this doesn't bode well. Oh, let's try this again. If I don't get it this time, I'll edit out my future attempts. Alright then, try this again, one more time. One more time on camera, that is. Well, actually, that one will be on camera, but I just will edit it out. It's much easier for me to keep everything in sync that way. Everything's still in the same spot. I just gotta remember to 
get off this thing at the height of the platform. It's raising and lowering of the platform. And the raising. And the lowering. And the platform. I really don't have a whole lot to say about this. I already gave away all the information about the game. In my initial play, and in my... I gotta... I, I can't talk this much. Oh god, this is getting... Oh well, it's not, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh god, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. Oh good, never mind. Didn't go that far. Okay, just got the blue one now. Don't screw this up now. For the love of god, don't screw this up now. I don't want to have to do this again. Also, time moves rather fast if you haven't noticed. This is gonna go up and it's gonna go down by the time I get there and I'll be done. Alright then. I had 8 seconds left. Not the best time, but I still did it. 10726, amazing! It's a new record! And you get a purple rupee, which is worth 50, which is awesome. What's my name? Link. That's my name. You can come by again tomorrow. Essentially, you play this game on different days, and you get more rewards, and more rewards. And then on the third day, you get the best reward. Which is not money, I'm telling you that now. So I'm gonna put away some of this money in something that's a rather... which I never quite understood, but is kind of important as well. Okay. You go over here, which is West Clock Town? Or is this East? I think this is West. I'm not too sure. This is, this is West Clock Town. If you haven't noticed, there's these kids in bandanas. We'll be, we'll be talking to them later. You talk to this beggar guy, he's kind of important. Hey there, little guy, I want you to deposit some rupees. Nowadays, even if people don't have any money, they don't deposit. What? For a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. I'm going to deposit 34 for now. You know, just in case. Um, the, you also get something, you get something for giving him, uh, what's it called? You get something for giving him... I'm losing my train of thought here. You get something for giving him 200 rupees, but you also get something also that's great. Also, also, also. Oh, 5,000! Holy crap, that guy just... That guy's fast. Masks are kind of important in this game. We'll, we'll get to that later. I'm kind of repeating myself now, aren't I? Now let's break this bubble. Or balloon. Burst the balloon. That guy's got a weird face. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a scrub. What? We bombers are have a hideout that leads outside to the observatory, outside town, outside. If you need a coat to get it, maybe we'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easy. I can just tell you. I can't just tell you what the coat is. You have to pass my test first. I should have really brought a paper. Are you ready? Yeah. 